Hey, it's Jen. Have you ever listened to one of the episodes and thought to yourself, oh, I wish I could leave a response to that, or I wish I could leave feedback or ask a question? Did you know there's actually a way to do that in Spotify now? I know, it's super cool. So if you head over to Spotify and search for Java with Jen podcast or Java with Jen hearing God's voice for everyday life, you may have to search all of it. And then you go and check out my most recent episodes. There are polls and Q&A options that you can weigh in on and I can connect with you that way over here on this platform. I usually use Instagram to connect with you guys, but now with this feature from Spotify, it's a super cool way to engage with the content of each episode and talk to me directly. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. So go head over to my latest episodes on Spotify and let's do that right now. Hi, and you're listening to Java with Jen with your host, Jenilee Samuel. Hey folks, this is Java with Jen and this is your host, Jenilee Samuel. I am so excited to have you come by the show today. Now y'all, this is my very first episode and I am so excited because this has been a dream in my heart for the last two years that was supposed to get off the ground last fall, um, but About the time I was going to start doing all my recordings, we were flooded in Hurricane Harvey. We had eight feet of water in the house, and so it threw me off for like the next year. So this has been long awaited, and I'm so excited to have you tuning in. This is Java with Jen, and my heart on this episode, I wanted to take this episode to introduce myself so you know who I am, uh, just what drives me, what you're going to find in this episode. in this podcast. And my desire is to encourage those who are listeners. I want to encourage you. I want to edify you through authentic, real stories. I always get a little bit frustrated in life when people use examples or say cliche things that are so cliche, but no one really explains them. No one's real. No one really like breaks it down to the nitty gritty and what you can really expect to encounter in different situations. I really love to be real. I'm not afraid to admit my faults. I'm not afraid to apologize for my mistakes. Um, But what I I do not like to do is I don't like to present a perfect little picture because plastic people do not inspire anybody. So you will not find plastic over here at Java with Jen. You will find very real, authentic, genuine encouragement for your souls. That is my hope and that is my desire. So I started Java with Jen as a little background for you. I started Java with Jen out of a desire to continue pouring into the lives of the young women and some men that I had met during our journey as college pastors at the local university. Uh, We, for 12 years, were college pastors, raising up, discipling all these awesome men and women. Oh my goodness, they are just... I still don't know how we got so lucky to have such amazing people that we had underneath us. Um, And I, as they moved on out of their season of college ministry, they, you know, moved on to having babies and getting married and building careers and some of them into ministry. And, and they still had questions. They still were like, I need a mentor in my life. I need someone to tell me how to do this. And truth be told in my own life, I also found it to be hard to find people women specifically who were available to pour into me. And the few that I have found, I've been so thankful for. Um, But it has been something that's gotten my attention as like an area where we maybe lack in the body and in the body of Christ. And so, or even just in our culture, like forget just the body of Christ, but just our culture, like older people need to teach younger people. And I think younger people maybe don't realize they can ask and, and seek the the wisdom that they need. So it became a passion of mine and a determination slash conviction of mine to really be available for the younger women around me to teach them things like, you know, how to go about dating. Like my husband would teach the young guys, like how to pursue a woman in a way that really respects her or the young ladies, like how to know when a guy is demonstrating poor character or how should you expect to be treated or how to build a budget because you're on a college budget, how to still thrive financially when you're in college and building a career and just, you know, all the things. So we just loved that season of our life. And when we, when we phased out and and raised up some new campus pastors underneath us uh, last year, it became very important to me that I still had 
a voice into these young people's lives because they were still reaching out for counsel. So I decided, you know, I don't have enough time to meet with all these people who are spread all over the U.S. now, um, but I still want to have a voice because I love them and I miss them and I care about them. So I decided to build Java with Jen podcast because it's a little bit of a nod to the coffee that we would share when we would sit and talk and pray together and So I appreciate and I welcome and I'm excited that you are joining me on this journey. And I hope that what you hear here is an encouragement to you and is a support to you. Um, Just as a little bit of background here. Well, actually, here's what you can expect from Java with Jen podcast. Okay, I'm going to try to keep these podcasts to the 20 or 30 minute range because I know you guys are busy. So I want to keep it concise. Um, However, when I do have Uh, guests, I will sometimes go up to about 45 minutes when I have guests because I want to make make the most of their time and and our time and get the most out of out of our guests that are taking the time out of their day um, to come share their lives with us. And so those will be a little bit longer, but we will have two different kinds of shows and episodes. I'll try to alternate them, but you know, we'll just see how life goes. But in general, I'll be alternating where it will be me sharing and sharing things the Lord's put on my heart for you or from, you know, life challenges I've worked through that I feel like would be an encouragement to you. And some episodes where I'll have a guest and they'll be sharing from their life and it'll be more interview style. And at the end of every episode, I plan to have a Life Hacks with Jen where I I visit some really practical things from styling tips to household tricks to discipline, um, short, not shortcuts, but principles that can drive discipline and, you know, just different things to make life easier easier. We all need ways to make life easier. And that will be kind of the fun side of our of our show. And so I look forward to that part as well. So you'll definitely want to stay tuned for the entire episode because you don't want to miss out on the little tips you're going to hear at the end to make your life easier. So that's what you can expect from pod the, this podcast and kind of the layout of the shows. Um, I would love to introduce myself so you know who I am. Um, You heard a little bit that uh, my husband and I were college pastors, but I grew up as a missionary kid um, on an Indian reservation when I was three years old. We started out, well, we went on furlough, so we really started when I was five. Um, But So for those two years, we traveled the United States raising support, and we lived in our van, basically. Oh my gosh, I remember traveling the East Coast, and our van had broken down. And we had to borrow a van from a church to make all of our different um, meetings that we still had scheduled while our van was worked on. And I just remember this van, it was red and it was like, you know, just like your standard like family van, not minivan, but like the bigger one. And I just remember there was carpeting in the back, but there was no heating and it was the winter in the East Coast. And I still remember driving for hours. We would drive 12, 14 hour days getting to each church And I remember driving and I was so cold. I just remember being so cold and just shivering and being like, mom, I'm so cold. I can't get warm, mom. I'm so cold. And okay, sorry, that's kind of sad to think about. Um, But I just, (laughs) the little things I remember, I do remember that, you know? So I was introduced from a young age that like challenges make you stronger. We made it. Our van got fixed. We survived. So my parents were in no way neglectful of us. But, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So we started out as missionaries, and then um, I just felt a call to ministry when I was about 14 years old and went on a couple missions trips when I was 16, 17, and 18. Um, I went to Europe, and I went to New Zealand, and I got plugged in. Well, even before that, when I was in high school, I did small group leading and was also training small group leaders. And, uh, and then I went to the missions field, felt the call to missions. And then when I went to college, I decided to go to a leadership slash Bible school in Texas called the Honor Academy. And uh, it no longer exists, unfortunately, but it was a, oh, the t- best two years of my life. And that's actually where I met my husband. I met him over the phone. I worked in a call center and he was one of the uh, youth pastors on my calling list. And so that's how we met. That's a story for another episode. It was crazy. Um, And so my husband and I got married, and then we got pregnant pretty right away, but we've been in ministry the entire time. We were youth pastors. We were junior high and high school. We were college at the same time. We were associate pastors, uh, missions directors. I also helped with worship. And then we ended up at the church we're at 
here after our first church, our pastor had died from cancer. And um, so we ended up at the church that we're at now and we're serving under powerful, beautiful, precious pastors that we adore. And we love, love, love being in the support role. It is not our ambition ever to be senior pastors. We love supporting the vision of the leadership above us. It is a really satisfying place for us. And so, um, we just continue to serve, and we actually are the missions directors at the church we're at right now, and um, it's a larger church in our area, and we also have a school of ministry, which is called the Beaumont Revival School of Ministry. It's actually available online if anybody wants to take it, but uh, it's just we love discipling, training, mentoring, raising up people into the fullness of what God has deposited inside of them. I'm like a sucker for... I I always believe in people. Like I believe in people probably to a fault. Like where my husband will be like, "Oh my gosh, they are there are glaring issues right here." And I'm like, "But they can change if they just knew what was inside of them." So I am like a diehard believe in you person. Um and so I'm an encourager at heart and I just want to see people reach the fullness of who God has made them to be. And so I hope that as you listen to these episodes, that that comes through and that you just feel inspired to really tap into the destiny that God has wrapped up inside of your heart and your soul and your giftings. Um, Aside from being a pastor, I'm a mom. We have four boys and my oldest is 12. He's in seventh grade. My youngest is six. He's in first grade. And uh, and then we've got a, a third grader and a fifth grader and they're drummers, they're guitarists. And my youngest one just loves to have fun and snuggle with me. In fact, you can hear an interview with Shiloh, my youngest on my podcast. It's the only, it's the very first episode. Technically Uh, it's about two minutes long. It's really sweet, but, um, we had all our babies at home. The Lord prompted us to, to have home deliveries and we did. And man, he showed up and there was miracles each time I should have died with the first one. And I did not praise God. So maybe that'll be another episode, another, another time down the road where I can share just how the Lord showed up miraculously in our home births. Um, and then aside from being a mother, we I'm also a stylist. I work for a beautiful, wonderful company called Stitch Fix as an online fashion stylist. And Stitch Fix, FYI, this is not a, a my podcast is not a reflection of the Stitch Fix company. Um, however, it is a wonderful company and I love working for them. I've styled over 6,000 people. I style women plus size and men's and I'm constantly learning and I just love it. I, I don't actually get to see the people. I, I work off of information, a photo, and Pinterest. And I I love styling them. I've learned so much. And um, pretty much when I meet a person, I can, without even thinking about it, assess their height, their weight, their body shape, and their inseam. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it just kind of comes with the job. So I love doing that. Uh, the Lord has also been prompting me to pursue the road of being a fashion blogger via Instagram. So that's a little something I do on the side that if you use Instagram, I welcome you. Come and follow. Come and be friends. Let's be friends on Instagram. Uh, you can find me at Jenna Lee Samuel Styling on Instagram. And um, I would love to have you stop by. Not stop by. I would love to have you be friends. So anyways, that's a little bit about me. My first passion is Jesus. Um, I love to share the word. I love to share with people. My second passion is people. I just love investing and pouring into people. I love enriching people and strengthening them. And I just hope that what you hear on this podcast leaves you feeling stronger, richer, fuller, more satisfied with your life and more encouraged that you can do this. I I believe that challenges are a doorway into a greater version of ourselves if we allow the Lord to shape our hearts in the process. And so I think that will hopefully come through in these shows as well. But I welcome you. I want to hear from you guys too. I want this to be a community where um, I'm responding to concerns, questions, thoughts, um, all the things that you may have. So email Email me at javawithgenpodcast at gmail.com. And if something that you hear resonates with you and you feel like you'd encourage a friend, please share these episodes. Please, please, please. Some, some podcasts that have literally changed my life, 
I came across because a friend texted them to me and it was life. It was just life to me. So if something in here encourages you or you think of a friend while you're listening, you know, maybe that's the Lord. Maybe he wants to encourage them. And man, I'm all about us taking what the Lord has taught us and using it to refresh others. So seriously, share, share, and away, share away on social media, send it, text it to a friend. Um, and f- please like rate my podcast as well, go into the app that you're using to listen to podcasts and rate my podcast because then the more ratings that we get, uh, the higher it'll show up on search engines and then people, more people will be reached, more people will be encouraged. So feel free to do that. But I hope uh, this was an encouraging, um, thorough understanding of just who I am and what you'll find here at Java with Jen. But let me just leave you with this last thought that You are able, you are capable to do more, be more, and reach further than you ever thought possible. The challenges that are around you are not meant to destroy you. They are meant to build you and strengthen you into the person that God has created you to be. Joseph, when he was thrown in the in prison and when he was trapped, when he was sold by his brothers and and um betrayed by Potiphar's wife and then thrown into prison, he He probably thought at some times the enemy was trying to derail his life, but because he chose to allow the Lord to forge and continue to build his character inside of him, the Lord raised him up to rule a nation. So let me just encourage you, sometimes those challenges you face are actually there to forge you into the person necessary to carry the calling that God has for you. So be encouraged, reach out, email me. And until next time, this has been Java with Jen. It's been so great to have you. We'll see you soon, friends. Bye. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's show. For those of you who've rated or shared this podcast on social media, thank you. It really means a lot to me. And don't forget, you can always email me with questions or comments at javawithjenpodcast at gmail.com. And for links or show notes, just go visit my blog at jenaleesamuel.wordpress.com. Until next time. You've got this, and God's got you.